सो हेलो दे गाइज हाउ यू ऑल आर डूइंग आई होप यू ऑल विल बी डूइंग फाइन वेलकम बैक टू री ज्वाइन टेक वी आर अगेन बैक विथ अ न्यू वीडियो and this time how to edit the front page of github actually a lot of people asked me in person that can you tell me how you modified your github page when you were in college so i mean it's long way back when i modified it i'm pretty sure i was in second year or something when he was still a child but it is still valid i mean i'm not going to tell you how to design it in a way which i have done i'll give you the basic concept and basic idea how you can edit it and make something whatever you want whatever you like it to be whatever you like so let's quickly jump into the video it will it is going to be a really short video because i'm not going to code anything i'll just tell you how you can manipulate your github readme page and you can get it done like say within in 1 hour or something so quickly So this is my GitHub account. You can find it. It's GitHub.com/slash/PrajwalKumar17. Actually, I tried really best to do some experiment with my usernames, but I wasn't getting anything without numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. So uh, I mean, this is the whole front page that is readme.md, which I had edited when I was in like say second year of my college. I edited something like this, like. hyper switch just pay and all but it's like again long way back around 6 7 months ago so the first thing that you should keep in mind is that you need to create a repo first which should start with the same name as your username in my case it was prajwal kumar 17 so yeah this is my repo this is prajwal kumar 17 you need to make a repo in the same way now moreover i have uh, all these resources scattered that means i haven't made them into a directory structure or something like that messy too messy in your case you can create a resources directory in which you can add your images gifs and all whatever you want to show on your github page now there is one readme.md which you need to edit in order to show it on your github front page this is what comes on your front page the front page mm -hmm. so this is the look and feel of it let's see the code how i did it so basically uh, this is all about and all which you can edit hi my name is this and this uh, and my name's lucy whatever you want to do some catchy lines zigmo something like that after that it is completely uh, you know html only if you know basic html like h3 h1 p tags center tags and all you will be easily able to do this it's not rocket science So if you want to add say some of your social media handles or some resume and all you can add the links here so you can add it in a tag with image height and whatever you want and you can give the link of the images same as your github repo where you have stored them so as i've said you i didn't made a directory structure or something like that i directly dumped all my images and resources in the same github repo so that is the same link which can take you there so you can add this link and uh, mostly you can even copy paste it and you can see what you are redirected to so let's do this right away so yeah this is the icon which i have pasted in the same repo so this repo is completely open sourced and open to everyone so you can come and copy paste as much as you want to do everything is free moreover we have some gifs here which is this one in particular which i have downloaded it from say some open source site again you can do that whatever you want to do actually i was making a drone project in my fourth year so i was pretty fascinated by drones that time so i added this one you can do that again with p tag and align it to left right however you want i mean that's pretty easy and basic moreover this is again a about section that will come down i mean it's just a hierarchical order from start to end whatever you write in your code that appears in your foreground and uh, while coding here in github as well you can see the preview on the go so that makes your life little bit easier moreover these are all the stats so you don't need to do anything just copy paste it in the same way and instead of my username you can add your username and it will show you your stats So this are all the stats like uh, GitHub stats, whatever stars you have earned, how many commits you have done, your most used language stacks like uh, Java, JavaScript, Rust, and all. 
मोर ओवर दिस इज योर कमिट स्टेटस लाइक वॉट इज योर करेंट स्ट्रीक हाउ मेनी कमिट्स यू हैव डन टिल नाउ वॉट इज द कमिट स्टेटस ऑफ योर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इयर सो दीज आर दीज काइंड ऑफ स्टैट्स मोर ओवर दिस इमेज विच यू आर सींग एयर इट इज सेल्फ क्रिएटेड इमेज प्लीज आई एम सेल्फ मेड I mean, I created it uh, using Photoshop, I guess, and this is my laptop, which I used to have in my college time. It was MacBook Air, which had a glowing Apple at back. It was very great. Good old days. Change it, modify it any way you can. So this is kind of a generic knowledge which I have given it to you. How you can edit it, how you can do that stuff. Moreover, if you want to refer anything, you can easily come to this repo, see whatever I have done, and you will be good to go. Now always remember the name of this repo should always be same as your username. So this is it, guys. I mean, this is pretty easy video which you can easily come and do it yourself. If you get any doubts, anything regarding that, kindly comment it out. I will be there to help you. Moreover, if you are not getting any points, you can just copy paste it from my readme. and uh, you can modify it but i will suggest you to do it in your way because when you do stuff in your way you will feel proud whenever you come to your github so this was with me also whenever i mean in a in a day you browse it like 10 times at least 5 times you will feel proud that yeah i had made this i i, I mean i did it in my own way so this is kind of some stuff that you want to do i am super proud and moreover always remember github is a kind of your second resume always which i say in most of my videos so whenever any interviewer comes to your github page and he is fascinated by seeing your readme because readme is what comes first so even if you browse my github so if you go to say prajwal kumar 17 here so the first thing that appears in front of you is my readme and all the stats that i mentioned and this is what makes interviewers more fascinated to go through your repos that yeah this guy has done this read me he is quite amazing guy he has like say streak of 3 and he has committed like 2400 times last year so these are all stuff that make it more fascinating and provokes other visitors to go through your repos so kindly have a look and if you are in first year or second year this is the best time to do this so do it fast as fast as you can i mean probably do it today itself after watching ah, ah. so this was all about this video if you get any doubts kindly comment it out i'll be there to help you out keep learning keep making new things and improving your life so see you soon in next video